How do you think that being present will help if you are going through a very strong tragedy like loss of your child or loss of your spouse, anything like that? I do. As much as we want to be able to show up for other people, we have to show up for ourselves. And that means being present. That's really all it means. When you're present, you're giving your attention. And sometimes we need to do that to ourselves. Because sometimes we're the person we need the most. Because only we can really be with ourselves. Really look at our thoughts. Really process heavy thoughts and emotions. I think that, you know, it's a natural transition. We all find laying on the beach, looking out into the waves and hearing the waves come in and out, very peaceful. And our breath is really that power of the ocean within us. And I would encourage people to just sit with your thoughts, your emotions in a meditation or in just a, a practice of being present and to notice those thoughts that say, this is horrible, I can't do this, this isn't for me, this is the worst, it's making me feel worse all these thoughts that will come up, sit with those. Allow those to be. And we can stop the inner conflict because we're not resisting. We're not obeying. We're just watching. And it's, it's a very powerful practice. Really, the more we become the watcher, the more peaceful chaos feels like, the more joyful sadness is, because we have made peace with whatever comes, the good and the bad. And it's better. I don't know if you've ever experienced an extended period of not thinking, but it's incredible. And that is the experience of letting go of all baggage. And it is, you can feel sad, but there's no inner turmoil. It's just like, this is sadness. I don't even have to comment. I don't even have to say that. I just feel it, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's miraculous. Yeah. Have you ever had that kind of experience where you where you just dropped all the baggages and you yep. felt very light? Many times. One time pretty recently. Mm -hmm. How was it like? It was great. No concepts, no thoughts. Pure being. No conflict, no Negativity. And it really, I think, comes when we surrender to whatever is weighing on us. How can we surrender? I think that surrendering happens when 
whatever we're carrying is too much. And we see that we can either continue suffering or we can do the easiest thing in the world, which is just put it all down. We don't have to solve anything. We don't have to fix anything. We don't have to change anything. We still will go out in the world and change things and constantly do things, but that is, instead of being driven by our past and our baggage, it's driven from responding to the moment and just flowing with whatever comes. So you're currently carrying a like 40 pound baggage. Mm -hmm. You have had that experience of dropping all the oh. negative thoughts. What feels, do you think is the difference? It feels great when I put this thing down. <laughs> it feels amazing. Um, but it is actually very similar. It's very similar, except sometimes we don't know we're carrying the baggage in the first place until we put it down. And then we get this sense of, I can stand up straight without any effort. We feel a weight has been lifted. And it feels very physically real when we set down that emotional and mental baggage. Yeah, because that, that heavy energy is really weighing down a lot. And you see it. People who have the most stress have the most back problems. Because <laughs> they're carrying too much. This really happens. So what are some, some of the baggages that we carry but we can't see them? Because we are not even like aware that this is a baggage that we are carrying. But almost everything you think about, especially repetitively, is the baggage. And when you have a moment of pure being, you you set it down, at least for a moment. And then when it creeps back into your thoughts again, you can, you can set it down again. You don't have to chase the thoughts, follow the thoughts. You know, you can bring your attention back to this moment. There's something very beautiful about nature photographers. They get such a spiritual experience from stalking and hunting and shooting an animal, but with a camera, and not killing it. And that is just the peak of spirituality because hunters also know this, that you're forced to be fully present, fully alert, fully aware of any tricks, smells, sounds. And it's such a great spiritual practice, especially when your goal is to just capture beauty. Mm -hmm. It's like when a, when you watch tragedy, mm -hmm. you feel sad, yet you enjoy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You paid good money. <laughs> and, and you're getting good acting. You're getting good acting. <laughs> but... It's about our life that we, uh, every time something bad happens, we freak out mm -hmm. and lose the joy instead of witnessing your own movie with joy. Like you expected it to be all good or something. <laughs>